came to check on Rosie and I saw some feet. Whoa. Whoo. I did not want to miss this. Oh, it's okay, lady. so glad you can see I'm filming it on two things I'm so glad I caught this I've been checking like crazy lately
Nasty. I could tell she was having kind of a hard time pushing, so I decided to give her some assistance and pull. It definitely helped her a little bit. I'm pretty sure it's a bull calf, but I, I didn't get a very close look. I can't tell you how much of a relief this is after losing her calf last time. I'm not too sure there's anything more beautiful about having a homestead than that. Rosie has come a very long way from when we first got her. Just incredible.
Whew. That's an amazing thing right there. I'm a little uh, at loss for words with all of it just because how upsetting it was last time when we lost her calf and just how much sleep I've lost over this calf. I, I just, I don't know. It's crazy that it's here now and I'm so thankful that it's breathing and it's alive. It hasn't stood up yet, but it's been trying to. I'm almost certain it's a boy. I checked a second once it hit the ground, but I don't know. It was kind of quick, so it's hard to tell, but either way, they're both healthy and happy. Rosie's being a great mom, cleaning up her calf. And Buddy's over there on the other side of the fence. <laughs> I'm not sure he knows what to make of it. We separated them because we were a little worried, you know, maybe Buddy would be kind of mean to the calf or, you know, I, I have no idea. We didn't want to have any chances with that, but we also wanted to separate him because we don't want him to breed with Rosie. Uh, because next year we're going to do a later calving. We don't want to calve, you know, in February or March. We're going to calve hopefully in April or May where it's a little bit warmer and she's out on grass. Uh, I think it's a little bit more natural. So that's why they're separated right now. And he'll be separated from her until probably, you know, late June, early July. Rosie had this calf just in time because we had some really cold weather the last couple days and hey there sweetie hey Rosie and we're about to hit 70 I think 72 degrees here in the next couple days so this calf's gonna have a nice warm warm environment right out of the womb much better than it being freezing cold which you know they would probably do just fine in but Obviously, it's nicer that it's a little bit warmer for them.
Yep, we got a bull calf. We were hoping for a heifer, but honestly, we were just hoping for a good, healthy baby and a good, healthy pregnancy, and so we're happy with that. That's a cute little guy for sure. Two more legs. Two more legs. Oh, you almost had it. It's a rosy girl. Mm -hmm. Not too sure if I just leave them or if I should give them a hand up on those other two front feet. I think we'll leave them for a little bit.
goes.
10 minutes and like till the eyes and the front hooves would come out but then it would just suck back in I was like yeah I'm just gonna eat I'm just gonna help and was, it was, was it a standing birth or would she lay on her she bed? was standing yeah 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 what happened when it came out you just kind of let it oh yeah it just falls to the ground That's well it comes cool. out most of the way and then the hips catch yeah, yeah. you know and so the first part is the hardest part the head and then the hips catch so I just pulled the rest out. Believe it or not, the fall to the ground gets it started. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure its mouth was clear and <coughs> just been licking it like crazy. <coughs> He's been trying to get up quite a bit. He actually did just a second ago. I got it on camera too. Like all fours, but couldn't couldn't keep it. Uh, he said it's a warmer day today for it. Huh? That's what I was saying. Yeah. Because he's already it's probably shivering. Seventy degrees. Probably because he's cold or because he's wet. So she doesn't mind you getting over there. No, I've been here? touching him. I like when she like if she was like that, I would touch him. But when she's licking him, I don't get that close. But I I even tried picking him up to help him up a little bit, and she didn't. No? She came over, but she didn't do anything crazy. Yeah, she knows you. Mm. She milk cows safe with you. Yeah. Well, milk cows are a little different than like if I did an Angus mom. Oh, that cow would try to kill me. Mm. If you took one of his, one of your neighbor's cats. A little bit more of <laughs> So you feel better now? Yeah, we're sorry. You sleep relief. good tonight, Yeah, I know. I'm going to sleep all through the night. <laughs> Ashlyn can get up if she wants. <laughs> You'll be all excited in the morning, though, to come back out. And keep yeah. Doing. Looks healthy. Yeah. Looks so healthy. I thought it'd be a little darker. It'd probably be a little darker as he gets older, but his dad was real dark jersey. On the black. Cause he's he's just he looks kinda dark because he's wet. I think that lighter color underneath is what he's actually gonna look like. So you were saying you wanted the female. What yeah. were you saying we were going to do with the male salmon, or? Nah, it's no. me. Oh, mm -hmm. really? Sorry, yeah. everybody. I mean, we could, because he, he's probably A2, A2 Jersey Bowl. So, it might be an option. We'll see. You still pushing, girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's still got her out. afterbirth hanging out. Yeah, ideally we wanted a heifer, because... We wouldn't have to buy one if we want to pick a cow, you know, but it is what it is. That wasn't the main, the main goal was this, was happy and healthy. Yeah. And there he goes. Oh, there she goes. A little more. That's right, you're about to put it all right on your baby. <laughs> Here's the danger 
fingers now, bud. amazing how quickly they have their babies though. So. Mm. Holy crap. And you don't even, like the last few days, I've really been noticing some weird things about her. She's just been like reaching back at her belly like non-stop mm. and up, down, up, down. And then she'll like stand there and lift her tail quite a bit and just hold it. Oh, there you go. Mm. I get it. He's getting better and better. Rosie didn't knock him over. That's all right. That's a good comfort.
Yeah, in the morning. So like at night, I'll build a little pen in here that I can just open up and put him in at night. And that way in the morning, I'll get the first milk and then he has it. He's got the general location of it. There he goes. He's he's looking it.
stuff on it, really. Mm -hmm. That'll yank it out. I'm not your mom, buddy.
everybody. Prince, go! I love how Rosie just kind of talks to him and it's pretty cute. Coming over, buddy. I pulled you out of there. You better like me. It's definitely curious. And so is Prince, but Rosie doesn't like Prince. Prince, go! Get out of here! Get out of here! She doesn't like you. Well, the calf seems to be doing pretty good. He's up and walking and he's pooping. I've seen him poop, which is, well, the calf's doing pretty good. He's up and walking. I've seen him poop, so that's good news. And I've seen him milk quite a few times, so that's, uh, that's good too.